Howdy folks, TJ here. Have a video today. It's an unboxing, an unexpected unboxing. A friend of mine over the internet sent me a gift. I had no idea that this uh, treat was coming. So with no further ado, I have a hard copy that not probably many people have. I don't know of anybody that has one yet. At least I haven't seen any videos done on it yet. And this is from Jay Mundy. I've done an unboxing video of his before. He had sent me a whole bunch of fun Timex goodies. And I know he's been uh, he's got a, a fun YouTube channel all about programming. I'll put his link down below. So if you're a budding programmer for the next, definitely subscribe to his channel because he has a lot of in-depth videos on stuff I haven't even pillaged yet. Uh, it's beyond my scope on some of it, and some of it uh, I've, I've kind of learned along the way, but it's a very informative, in-depth channel, so check it out. And I, recently I saw him post a video about bricks, and I didn't... Um, he had posted a note, I think it was something to the effect of be a level, uh, be a level of the game. I, I forget exactly what it, it was, but people could add their two cents and, and it become a level of the game. I could be wrong on that. I get a little, as I get older, I get a little bit more forgetful, but I'm pretty sure it was something like that. Uh, and he wanted people's, you know, participation. And this was a a video long ago. I, I think it was only a number of weeks ago, so having a hard copy already, that shows you how fast this guy moves. <laughs> uh, so this is a hard copy for Next, and he wanted to test out his, um, at least in the little letter he sent me. Let me see. Uh, I could probably read the letter. It says, hey, TJ, hope you and yours are doing well. Been trying my hand at creating physical packaging for my first game and thought you might like to add it to your collection. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I would love to actually collect each and every next game I can. The odds are against me because they're starting to proliferate like bunny rabbits and it's just right after Easter, so that's appropriate. So I probably won't, but needless to say, I'm going to do my best. Uh, the game is somewhat primitive, but packaging came out pretty decent, I think. Cheers, Jay. So thank you very much, Jay. So here is the... I got itchy ear. By the way, I, I'm going to probably not be quite as loud as normal. I've got a new another puppy so we have an 11 month old puppy now you've probably heard me talk about it running us ragged australian shepherd a herding dog wife wanted to turn me british <laughs> fake but i've been saying i'm becoming british because she's got us now a corgi our first corgi ever his name's cooper kind of like mini cooper uh we own a mini cooper so it's cooper the corgi <laughs> he's out in the kitchen he's finally resting uh sleeping a little bit while our other super hyper dog i just put her outside for a little bit so i had a few spare minutes so this will only be an unboxing i won't be able to test this out hoping maybe on the weekend i can find an opportunity but here's the front of the case i'll hold it at a few different angles because i'm sure that light's going to be glaring off this plastic and I'll read to you what it says. It says, Sinclair ZX Spectrum Next, up on the very top with their logo. Variety Pack. Bricks with a Z. Bricks with an exclamation also. Bricks. I, I would be normally louder than that, but I don't want to wake up the dog. By Jay Mundy. And it looks like a, uh, a, a breakout kind of game, but there's some bombs in here which look interesting. And it says, a brick-busting game of skill, patience, and bombs. Uh, SpriteWorks is his uh, site. Next Level Entertainment is his slogan on the bottom. Uh, so that's cool. On the side of the box, I'll hold it again at a few different angles in case one of them shows up. But it says Sinclair, ZX Spectrum Next, Bricks, Variety Pack, SpriteWorks. Then on the back, this is really fun. This is cool. And it's kind of fun to... Uh, you know, homebrew stuff is always kind of fascinating me. Very fascinating. Yeah, I guess I'm a homebrewer too because Invasion of the Cloud people, right? I made that. Uh, defend the Earth against an alien invasion. So he's got the alien uh, theme going on. 
Invaders with a Z. And then it looks like a breakout game, but it's more than a breakout game. It looks like some other fun chip away at intricately constructed shapes. Infiltrate an assortment of fortified enemy structures. Look at that bottom picture. That looks interesting. It almost, without even playing, it looks like you can ganip ganop the ball up into a catacomb or a room and then it's going to ganip ganop in there. Now I don't know quite sure how you then take over from there to get up into the other ones but it'll be interesting to try that out. I'll have to make another video when I can yell more. Maybe on Saturday with my wife home she can be... It was her idea to get the corgi. Not my idea. In fact I was against getting another dog right now because our Aussie is uh, her name's Luna. She's a loony and she's running me ragged. So now I've got another one and I'm the one that's at home and I work out of the home. So I've got to work and babysit. It's very difficult. That's probably why I'm a little twisted. <laughs> Copyright 2022 J Monday for use with keyboard and joystick on the ZX Spectrum next. So all very fun. So let's pop this case open. Oh, oh, there's all sorts of goodies in here. Let me hold this up. Okay, so inside, there's some stuff that's about to flip out. There's a little baggie. We'll open this baggie in a second. There is a manual, which we'll look at in a second. And, and he's even got a really good... You know, sometimes you'll get um, SD cards and they're just flipping around in here. This one's got the nice little locking bay <laughs> for it. And not only that, he's even printed out. Let me take this uh, SD card out. I don't know if he'll pick it up. I'll hold it close at a few different angles. Bricks. So he's even printed out. I'm going to have to ask his advice on this. I don't know if he printed this at home, if he's professionally printed it out, but I'm meaning, been meaning to do one for my, my Invasion of the Cloud People three quarters done demo, which is technically a game, but I call it that, given me possible future enticement to make three more levels. Here's the inside. So not only is the outside printed, he's got like this starry, spacey theme going on inside. That's a nice extra touch. Uh, and it looks like some, um, what do you call them? Uh, Sagittarius and all those things. Uh, the Big Dipper uh, constellations. I forget. <laughs> uh, anyway, you can kind of sense those in here. <clears throat> okay, let's, before we look at the manual. So in this Ziploc baggie, some more goodies. Wow, this is really fun. Uh, oh. I don't want to wake up the dog. So again, I'm not being normally too loud. It looks like magnets, maybe? Okay, so, oh, there's a SD card size magnet. That's a little puny one. Look at that. Little bricks. You know where these are going to go? I'm up on my refrigerator, right? Spriteworks magnet. It says Spriteworks Next Level Entertainment. Let me put those back over here. A ZX magnet. <laughs> this is kind of fun. It's the first time I've had magnets in a while. I've got tons of them on our refrigerator, believe me. Lots of them. You'll see. I'll have to take a picture. This looks like a, a joystick magnet. My refrigerator is going to be decked out. ZX Next, and it looks like a little knight type of thing. Knight in shining armor. And then Bricks, a bigger magnet. So obviously he's probably had these professionally done. I, I'm not aware that you can do magnets at home. Maybe. Uh, I have no idea. So let's uh, get into the manual and see what this is going to be all about so we can set folks' expectation because dog cat hair all over me. Uh, my next video after this, I'll have to load it up. So here's the front cover of bricks. Same as what you saw before. And here's the back. And inside, and I'll then read it to you, it's an introduction. Introduction, welcome to Bricks. Battle your way through an assortment of intricately, oh, that's always a hard word for me, intricately, it, it, uh, aluminum, <laughs> uh, aluminum, <laughs> Ooh, that one was close, that was close. Uh, battle your way through an assortment of intricately, 
Ooh, I think I got it. Constructed brick patterns while trying to achieve the high score. Power bricks, indestructible walls, explosive bricks, and bombs are some of the items you will encounter as you make your way through the levels. Make as you make way through the levels. Good luck. How to play. Use the joystick or I and P keys on the keyboard to move the paddle left and right along the bottom of the screen to deflect the ball into the uh, wall of bricks. Bombs are collected automatically, which can be activated by pressing the space bar on the keyboard or the fire button on the joystick. Detonating a bomb will destroy all the remaining bricks on the screen. Wow, that's cool. So I guess if you get nip and up and touch a bomb, you can then use it when you like. I like that. I've got one uh, kind of specialty uh, zap to the next level button. It's not a bomb in my own game that you, you get once and then you can use it. Bombs are collecting mess. So here's the picture. So cool. Nice big manual. Let's continue. Brick types. There are let me show you the picture first, and then I'll read it. Brick types. There are four brick types in bricks, plus bombs and indestructible wall sections as shown. Normal brick looks like it's a blue one. Awards points when hit. Power brick is a reddish-looking one. Increases point bonus counter and changes ball color. Life brick awards an extra life. It's a green one with a plus in it. A red one with an explosion of brick explodes all remaining bricks when hit. Oh, that's cool. Bomb oh, looks like a bomb. A black cherry. <laughs> cherry bomb. Oh, I get it. Uh, detonates all remaining bricks when activated using space bar or joystick buttons. Indestructible wall looks like a black strong, strong brick. All bricks produced uh, their assortment uh, associated effects immediately when hit by the ball. So when you hit the ball and it hits that, that happens. The bonds can be saved up to be used at uh, time of your choosing. Scoring. Then it goes through scoring. I probably, I'm not going to read that. Um, if you achieve a high score after completing all levels, you will be asked to enter your name. The game will then automatically be saved to the SD card. Something I haven't uh, tinkered with, saving stuff of a game uh, back to the card. That's a neat idea. To preserve your name and high score. Note, if you quit the game before completing all the levels, your current score will be lost even if it's a high score. So make sure to save. So it looks like you can save in here. You can detonate bombs. The, the color of the ball can change to uh, and matches the bonus value. Uh, all sorts of fun ways for point and scoring. Playing tips. Uh, the ball travels at fixed angle of 45 degrees at all times. However, the direction of the ball can be reversed by causing it to hit the exact edge of a paddle. If you have remaining lives, it is sometimes beneficial to miss the ball in order to relaunch it from the initial position. It is possible for the ball to become trapped in an endless movement pattern between indestructible bricks in some levels, which will require you to use a bomb to clear it. Wow, so if you don't have a bomb, you're kind of screwed. I like that. Devious. For maximum scoring, try to wait until the bonus uh, is at the maximum value before detonating a bomb. There's links. So his uh, download uh, from his itch.io account, which is SpriteWorks with an X, uh, dot itch dot io. Uh, he's also on Facebook. He's got facebook.com slash gaming slash SpriteWorks. And then watch my game dev videos. And again, I'll put these links down below. YouTube.com forward slash C forward slash SpriteWorks. So very cool. Thanks, Jay. I will check out Bricks. Uh, I'll be curious if I remember right that you had asked some folks to um, add to the game by giving you, I guess, ideas and stuff like that, so they can kind of be um, what you call when you're not when you sponsor a highway, you sponsor a certain amount of miles on the highway. Uh, that's kind of a nifty idea. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. I'll see if I can get the game sparked up, but this video may be long enough to just stick with the unboxing, keeping the dog uh, corgi crazy uh, nutball uh, that I'm about to go meet again here in a few minutes. Man, she poops a lot. Poops all over the place and pees. My socks are, are just scored with pee. You step in there and if you go in with shoes, with a shoelace, she's instantly on it. She loves shoelaces. 
I love dogs, but it's a lot of work. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for the gift, Mr. J. Mundy, and have a great rest of your weeks. Bye.